Welcome insiders to Inside News, I'm your host Eric. Today is April 14th, 2014, I'm actually a little bit behind in Inside News. There's a few tech stories that happened like a week or two or maybe even three weeks ago that I haven't actually covered, so let's get caught up in today's episode. So first off, in Inside News, WWDC. What actually is it? Well, it's an Apple event that Apple holds every year in around June-ish or July time frame. It stands for Worldwide Developer Conference. This is a conference that Apple's going to get all the developers together, and they're going to talk about some new things that are coming out. Usually has to do with the new version of iOS and the new version of macOS. This year, in 2014, Apple will be holding WWDC on June 2nd to the 6th. Now, of course, we don't know exactly what Apple's going to have at WWDC 2014. They're probably going to have iOS 8, maybe Mac OS 11, maybe some hardware like an iPad Pro, but that might be too far-fetched. Maybe even the iWatch, but then again, we don't actually know, but what you can really expect is iOS 8 and Mac OS 11. That's usually guaranteed. Moving on in Inside News, Adobe came out with a iOS app. Lightroom Mobile. It's exactly what it says. It's a mobile version of Adobe Lightroom, which is a photo editing app. The application is free, and for what I see, it has a lot of really nice features and syncing across the cloud, but unfortunately, you do need a cloud subscription, which will start you off at 10 bucks a month from Adobe. Moving on in Inside News, Amazon Fire TV. Amazon came out with their own little TV box, similar to the Apple TV or the Roku. It starts off at 100 bucks, and it lets you do basically anything that all the other boxes do. The box gives you internet capability, which lets you watch Netflix, Hulu, Plus, of course, Amazon Instant Video. Of course, there's a lot more channels, but take a look at the remote. The remote isn't anything too fancy, besides the fact that you can actually talk to the remote and make it search things for you. Also, separately, you can buy not another remote, but a controller to play video games. Now, I realize these games aren't really super amazing. There are going to be games that you can find in, like, the Android store, like the Minecraft Pocket Edition or Asphalt 8. But apparently, they're really trying to push gaming and more entertainment of every aspect, so there's supposed to be a lot more games coming. Finally, in Inside News, if you're a geek or a nerd and you have an iPhone or an iPad and you want to run DS games on your device, there is a DS emulator link down below so you can download a DS emulator on like your iPad and play DS games on it. Pretty self-explanatory. Any other guys that's inside news for today, please leave our comments down below. Like this video, subscribe and share with your friends, help the channel out in any way you can. Also, if you have any requests or suggestions about this video or other videos to come, let me know down below. I'll try to improve as I can. Any other guys, this is Tech Inside. I'm your host, Eric. I'm signing out.